Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial. Today we will have we will have MDM quiz. In today's quiz, we will have very simple but very interesting question about MDM, how the MDM works, uh, what are the processes involved, etc. So it will be fun. So I hope you you guys you will be enjoy this. So at the end, you can definitely mention if you have any interesting question. I, I can prepare uh, another video with those kind of questions and answers. So today we'll start with today's tutorial. The questions are very simple. I'm sure you will score 100 out of 100 on all these questions. So let's start it. So very first question. Delta can be detected in. So I'm sure you definitely know the answer whether it's a uh, delta can be detected in initial batch load or incremental batch load and the correct answer is definitely incremental batch load next question consolidation indicator is user defined column or system column that's correct you got the correct answer and that is system column next question consolidation indicator can have following values values option one one two three four option 2 1 2 3 9 option 3 1 2 4 9 option 4 1 2 3 4 9 and option 5 1 and minus 1 it's a bit little tricky but I'm sure you did not get confused with that and the correct answer is 1 2 3 4 9 the 9 is specifically when the data steward keep the record on hold that the consolidation indicator goes on the 9 state the rest of status you might know the 4 is for new record 3 is ready for merge 2 is like in uh, 3 is ready for match 2 is like record matched and 1 is consolidated record next question after the match job the potential manual matches are stored in so which table in which table the mat ma potential matches are stored assume that the part cb is the cb part is the base object table name so here is the list of table name cb party mtcs cb party hist cb party xrep cb party hmrg out of this four option which is correct i'm sure you got the correct option option two and three are definitely not one and four are more potential but one which which is correct one whether mtch or hmrg and the correct answer is mtch that's correct the hmrg stored the merge record the record which are already merged and not the potential matches next question stage job is for pre-landing to landing landing to stage stage to bo or bo to publish this is a very simple question and i think you got the correct answer the correct answer is landing to stage next question when data is inserted through IDD, the default hub state indicator value is either 1 or minus 1, which is what will be the answer? The correct answer is 1. JMS can be set for inserting the record, updating record, merging record, or can we do all these operations through JMS? That is the option, option 4 is all of the above. So what is correct answer? The correct answer is all of the above. Next question. IDQ stands for Informatica Data Quality, International Data Quality, Internal Data Quality, Intellectual Data Quality. Choose the option wisely. I'm sure you got the correct answer. That's right. The correct answer is Informatica Data Quality. Next question. Cross reference maintenance so here the cross reference table maintains what it contains and what it maintains the option one original data provided by source system option two original data and ids provided by source system option three ids provided by source system and option four none of the above i'm sure you got the correct answer that's right it contains or it maintains original data and IDs provided by source systems. Let's have a look on the next question. The question is merge data by data store is called 
with this manual merge or auto merge it's very simple it's a manual merge next question user roles are stored in which repos table option 1 c repos user option b c repos role option 3 c repos sambro bit confusing but don't get confused with this tricky question the question is very simple but the answer is little confusing and the correct answer is c repos sam role so where the user roles are stored next question data steward can assign tasks to another data steward data steward can assign tasks to super user super user can assign tasks to data steward so these are the three sentence which ones is or are are correct only one is correct only one and two correct only one and three correct or none of the above are correct I hope you might be thinking about this question do you want to read it again so there are three options data steward can assign the task to another data steward data steward can assign to super user data steward or super user can assign task to other data steward and you got the correct answer option is one and three are correct option two that is data steward cannot assign task to super user next question types of validation rules can be domain check existence check all of the above or none of the above can we do domain check with validation rule can we do existence check with the validation rule hmm i hope you got this time correct answer the correct answer is all of the above yes we can do the all these checks next question etl stands for you know the correct answer extract transform and load and here is the correct answer next question soa stands for system oriented architecture service uh, server oriented architecture service oriented architecture software oriented architecture choose the option correctly and the correct option correct answer is service oriented architecture next question soap soap ui is a open source tool functional testing tool web service testing tool or all of the options all of the above options are correct you got the correct answer all of the above WSDL stands for web service definition language web service data language web service definite language none of the above this is outside the MDM but it still has a relevance with the SOAP UI and the services integration framework that is safe web services so WSDL we should know what is the meaning or why for what it stands for so WSDL stands for web service definition language and these are the questions for today I hope you are enjoying this quiz if you are interested in more quizzes just let me know I'll be more than happy to prepare such quizzes for you guys thank you again have a nice time